On day two of the Grand Challenges meeting, I had a quick chat with Bill to find out what his thoughts are on African innovators and his hopes for the future of African locally led innovation. Hi, Bill. My Hi. name is Charity and I'm from Nigeria. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Great. I was going to go straight Great. to the point. <laughs> All right. So, um, one of the most interesting innovations for me is the AI, portable AI ultrasound device. So, I'd like you to tell me more about how this device can revolutionize maternal health care, particularly in Africa. Yeah, it's amazing. It's you know been miniaturized down to just this device connected to a, a phone or a PC. But the magic is that by taking this image data and having software here, yeah. we can um, you know see if you're having twins, uh, see the gestational age. But most importantly, probably is we can see is this risky, and so you know, do I need to go where I, they can do a C-section mm -hmm. for me or is it just a normal pregnancy and so I don't uh, need to travel and, and yeah. you know that's we're starting to uh, do trials of this and it looks very promising. Yeah this is quite revolutionary and I can't wait to see how much this is going to help. Of course uh, my second question is about Africans um, in research. Um, one of the Grand Challenges initiative believes that great ideas can come from anywhere. So now my question is, what stands out to you on innovations being driven by African researchers and organizations, and what makes you hopeful for the future of African locally-led innovations? Well, the foundation is lucky enough that we've connected with a lot of innovators here, and you know the innovators here understand the challenges. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have enough doctors, so okay, how can you? Uh, automate uh, things. You know, there's challenges with HIV and TB and malaria, and so a lot of the best ideas are coming here. Even with AI, that's very new. Uh, of the 50 uh, innovators we we gave initial grants to, yeah. uh, the majority were here from Africa. And wow. you know, the ideas on helping farmers, helping in education, helping in healthcare were very impressive. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, we're going to help them work together uh, to build applications that not only meet needs in Africa, but hopefully can help the whole world. The whole world, this is amazing. So what would be your advice for the next generation of African innovators? Well, you know, digital is uh, more powerful. It's sort yeah. of my life's theme, you could say. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, we're uh, digitizing the financial system in many countries. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're digitizing health data and the sensors are getting very cheap. Mm -hmm. And so if somebody's interested in digital work applied uh, to health or edu education or, or farming, you know, there's going to be huge career opportunities. We do see uh, more Africans getting educated in this. You know, the capacity to educate more will be uh, very important, but the career, the demand will exceed the supply for a whole generation. Of course, that's my question. Thank you so much. Can you just do one last thing for me? Sure, sure. Can we look at the camera and just say, yeah, it would drive my, my followers crazy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. That's uh, amazing. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. After talking to Bill, just like the cherry on top, I met this amazing poet called Wana. Listen to this. 2020 and something. Beyond our imagination, inside our galaxy, we are tracking resistance and heat maps, sequencing genomes and DNA, this collision of science, innovation and technology, this laboratory of magic protecting generations heals the blood. Hi, Miss Wana. Hello, Charity. Oh my God, I'm so glad to see you. you what inspired this poem? So when I was um, to write the poem, I was I first of all, you know, was thinking about a lot of the work that have been that has been done in healthcare and health innovation, and I decided to sort of zone in on viruses hmm. and the technology around solving viruses, immunization, um, and those kinds of cures. So I was thinking about that. You know, science can be very data driven. It's very factual, very hard. Right? And for me, it's like my work as a poet, a performer, a storyteller is really how do I take that and connect it with people because at the end of the day scientists are trying to solve um you know medical problems of the world mm -hmm. um and but they are solving problems that are affecting the lives of people on a daily mm -hmm. basis it was like okay i want to embody that in stories in the story about a person or about people so of course i started with sort of the hiv um pandemic in itself in the 80s um and sort of this story about a, a, a person who was born with hiv mm -hmm. and the stigma attached to it mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. then i move on to kind of talk about 
how something more recent covid yeah. which all of us were we also mm -hmm. see people saw their siblings mm -hmm. die their family members yeah. die and so i moved into sort of that as well and so the third part of the poem for me was really about and what i call reimagining so what is a world that is free of you know what's the future without viruses mm. a future where we are responsive mm. and how science technology and innovation is constantly preparing and yeah. um, to respond to anything to make sure that we are we're world free from epidemics and pandemics and viruses um, and things like that so that was what was what kind of inspired the poem i really love your work i'm really grateful that i came across you today when i heard this i was like okay this is really deep and i needed to talk to you um, and i love how you're pushing africa in the limelight even using your own um your own stories and i really appreciate meeting you thank today you. your art is beautiful and i was touched thank you <laughs> thank you Charity. And that's a summary of my wholesome experience at the Grand Challenges meeting. This experience has not only left me proud of the African innovators making a change, it has also made me hopeful for the future of global healthcare. Now, as I say goodbye, I'm going to leave you with this. We can figure out how to do this. I can guarantee you that a future Nobel Prize for Medicine will be given to someone in Africa yeah. for an innovation that is Woo. Right here. Yes. <laughs>